Inside a factory floor, a large rotating machine keeps cycling as routine cleaning happens inches from its moving edge. Never, ever approach a rotating machine while it is energized. Motion does not slow down for proximity, hesitation, or routine tasks. Rotating machinery stores kinetic energy and applies continuous torque. Anything entering the rotation zone is rapidly carried along the motion path faster than reaction time allows. Once contact occurs, friction and rotational force prevent easy release until the system stops. Rotation doesn't warn. It doesn't pause. Lock out the energy. Stop the motion. Because once rotation takes control of something, manual control is already gone. In a crowded scrapyard, a single spark lands where it should never be, and the ground responds with sudden ignition. Never, ever assume scrap metal is inert. Sealed containers, pressurized vessels, and trapped vapors can turn a routine cut into an uncontrolled pressure release. When heat or sparks reach a sealed or partially sealed container, trapped gases rapidly expand. With nowhere to escape, pressure spikes instantly until the container ruptures, releasing stored energy in a rapid pressure release. Scrap yards are energy traps disguised as junk. Before cutting, crushing, or striking metal, verify it's empty, vented, and safe, or step back before physics decides for you. Two workers climb onto a freshly assembled metal shed roof, trusting thin panels to behave like solid ground. Never, ever treat lightweight roofing panels as load-bearing surfaces. Always assume they will flex, shift, or fail, unless fully supported. Corrugated metal roofing is designed to shed weather, not carry concentrated weight. When a person steps onto an unsupported panel, body weight creates a point load that exceeds the panel's stiffness. The sheet flexes downward, transferring force to fasteners and sidewalls that are not fully braced. As the panel bends, strength drops rapidly, roof geometry distorts, and the load path collapses inward. Gravity does the rest. Once alignment is lost, the structure folds under its own weight. Roofs are not platforms. Until framing, bracing, and load paths are complete, Every step adds risk. Build support first, or the structure will decide when the work stops. A loading yard, a sliding steel gate, and a truck easing into position. Everything looks routine until the gap disappears in seconds. Never, ever place yourself between a moving vehicle and a fixed object. There is no safe margin once motion begins. A moving truck carries momentum that doesn't stop instantly. When it presses against a rigid gate, energy transfers into the narrowing space. The gate cannot move fast enough to relieve the force, so pressure spikes instantly. In that zone, even slow motion creates overwhelming mechanical force with no time to react. Gates, walls, and trucks don't negotiate. Control vehicle movement, establish exclusion zones, and keep people completely clear of pinch points. If you're in the gap when motion starts, physics decides, not experience, not strength, not speed. On a tight construction access road, a truck begins towing heavy equipment between barriers, and the moment momentum shifts, control disappears. Never, ever allow any driver-occupied space between moving vehicles and fixed structures. Once momentum is involved, there is no safe reaction time and no escape path. A moving truck carries enormous momentum due to its mass. When that motion transfers through a rigid tow connection, any sudden stop or misalignment redirects force instantly. The energy has only one place to go, into whatever lies in its path. Barriers, gates, and equipment do not absorb this force. They transmit it. Heavy vehicles don't negotiate space. They claim it. Control zones must be clear. Communication must be absolute. And no one belongs near a moving load unless the path is fully secured. Behind a workshop in a tight loading lane, a flatbed's tailgate hangs half-latched. One small jolt, and that steel swing turns into a moving hazard. Never, ever stand or work inside the swing path of a truck tailgate or unsecured rear assembly. Keep clear until all mechanical components are fully locked and verified. The tailgate is a heavy, hinged steel mass. When its latch fails or releases, gravity converts stored potential energy into motion. Because the gate rotates downward on a hinge, even a small release creates rapid angular acceleration. Once the center of mass passes the balance point, the structure drops with full force, sweeping through its arc with no gradual warning. 
heavy vehicle components don't fall, they rotate with force. If a gate, panel, or ramp isn't mechanically secured, it is already a moving hazard. Verify locks, control the swing zone, stay out of the line of motion every time. An industrial yard looks quiet, wide, and open until a heavy truck begins rolling forward and a pedestrian unknowingly enters the active travel zone. Never, ever assume a driver sees you just because you can see the vehicle. Industrial traffic zones demand absolute separation between people and moving machines. Heavy trucks operate with large blind zones, especially directly in front and along the sides. Even at low speeds, mass creates momentum, so stopping is never instant once motion begins. Dust, vibration, and surrounding equipment further reduce visibility and reaction time. When a pedestrian enters the travel path, size, braking delay, and limited sightlines combine into an unforgiving hazard envelope where avoidance becomes nearly impossible. Industrial vehicles always win the physics battle. Pedestrian safety depends on distance, visibility, and strict traffic control. Because once heavy equipment is moving, awareness alone is not enough. In a truck yard, a tire inflation line turns a routine top-up into a split-second pressure event. Never, ever stand in the tire's side line of fire during inflation. Set the air, step back, and control it from a safe position. A truck tire is stored energy, compressed air under pressure inside a large volume. If the bead or rim seating is wrong, the casing is compromised, or pressure rises too fast, that energy can release instantly. The release drives a sudden blast of air and powerful sideways force, causing attached equipment, hoses, chucks, or tools to move unpredictably across the side zone. Inflate like it's loaded with energy. Use a clip-on chuck and remote valve. Keep your body out of the side zones and use a cage or barrier for high-risk tires. The conveyor keeps moving as a loaded platform shifts and one misstep puts everything out of balance. Never, ever enter a live conveyor zone or climb onto moving equipment without full lockout and control. A moving conveyor transfers momentum continuously. When a load shifts or a surface tilts, gravity pulls anything unsupported toward the lowest point. The belt doesn't stop, friction drops, and there's no time to recover balance once motion begins. Moving systems don't forgive mistakes. Stop the equipment, secure the load, and keep people out of the danger zone every time. In an outdoor equipment yard, a long row of heavy metal units sits upright in a straight line until one subtle shift turns the entire line into a moving wall. Never, ever position yourself beside tall, unsecured equipment that can tip or slide under its own weight. Maintain distance and control the load before it controls you. Each unit carries significant mass and a high center of gravity. When one panel loses balance, gravity converts stored potential energy into motion. That motion transfers force sideways into the next unit, triggering a domino effect. With no restraints, anchors, or spacing to absorb energy, the collapse accelerates rapidly, and stopping it becomes physically impossible once it begins. Large objects don't need speed to become dangerous. Gravity is enough. Secure tall loads, space them properly, and maintain clear exclusion zones around them. Because when mass starts moving, control disappears fast. Don't forget to share what you learned today in the comments. Your insight could save a life. Take care.